Hi, I'm Tim. Please join me in this video as I discuss a little used today position on your uh, RC receiver called the BAT, B-A-T-T -T, position. Let's get to it. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the BATT position on your receiver. It's on just about every receiver. It was used all the time with RC flying before electric flight. Now after electric flight, it's not used at all. I'm going to give you a little bit of history and what it is used for. For those of you who fly gas models, you know what I'm talking about. So this is the portions we'll talk about. I will discuss the receiver here. It's a Spectrum AR410 receiver. I just have two servos here. They could be any servos. This is a two cell LiPo battery, 7.4 volts. The 7.4 volts will be important in the discussion. And very important is the electronic speed control. This is a Talon 25. In the very fine print, it has BEC, which is a battery eliminator circuit. Again, which will be important in our discussion. In the old days of radio control flight, and what I mean by old days is ga uh, gas-powered models, <clears throat> your RC airplane had a gas engine. It obviously had a throttle for that engine. What happened at that time when you bought a radio, the radios were typically complete sets with a transmitter, four servos, a receiver, and there was a 4.8 volt NICAD in-flight battery. What had happened, that 4.8 volt NICAD battery was used to power the electronics in that airplane. So you would plug it into the receiver and that, that um, NICAD battery was called your flight pack battery. It would provide electrical current for the receiver and your servos to work. That battery is what was plugged into the BAT function on the receiver. So the in-flight battery plug would go in there and then number one you would just have a regular servo that had a push rod connected to it you'd plug that servo into port number one always and that was the throttle control on your radio and the throttle would just go in and out to move the um, throttle on the engine Today, we obviously don't have a servo because there's nothing to push. The throttle is controlled by the electronic speed controller. So what is a huge benefit for us today with these ESCs? So obviously these are the three wires that go to your electric motor. These two wires connect to the battery. Remember polarity is super important for the red and black. The colors really don't mean anything on the motor wires. Crucial on here. If you get those backwards, you will burn up the ESC. But this plug, through the magic of electronics, in the receiver, remember we have the batch position of number one. You simply plug the electronic speed control into number one. And what will happen is the ESC will take the power from the battery, go through here, provide a full 7.4 volts for a two cell LiPo and step it down to five volts that can power your receiver and the servos for your flying needs. So one battery provides it for the engine, receiver and servos. It makes it absolutely super convenient as well as saving weight from that in-flight NICAD battery back. We need no more. We don't need any more. Also keep in mind, it depends on the um, size of the electronic speed control but if you have a three cell lipo which would be 11.2 volts the same thing happens you have the increased volt to the motor so more power 11.2 volts and still get stepped down to five volts for your receiver and your servos one other thing I'd like to add about these Spectrum receivers, I don't get paid for this, I just like Spectrum, but two really neat things about this line of receivers, they are AR610 and the AR620, which is a six channel receiver. There's a built-in antenna. I have lost models because the antenna gets, gets disconnected, not properly orient, orientated for the model. The antenna is built in, which is wonderful. Also, they have a bind button right here. You simply push in this bind button to do your binding. It just couldn't be any easier. There's no need to find your bind plugs. 
Thank you for joining me in this video. The BATS, a little bit of history, is the battery function for your in-flight battery pack for gas-powered models. It's left blank. You don't use it for anything. The electric-powered model, your ESC, goes into port number one. And the voltage from the battery is stepped down to five volts to operate your receiver and servos, and the rest goes to the motor. It's a pretty neat deal for electric flyers like us.